Morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us here. We have uh, Ryan Winterton, who is our pick in the third round. We're excited to have him here with the Saddle Kraken. Um, again, just a reminder, if you're not actively asking a question, please have your mic uh, muted so we can keep the line clear. Um, and we will go ahead and get things started with Darren Brown. Hey, Ryan, congratulations. Uh, so I know it was an odd year for you, certainly, being that the OHL season was canceled. Uh, you did get to play with Team Canada at the U18s. Is this where you think Seattle got the best look at you? Uh, thank you for uh, the congratulations. But, yeah, I think, um, you know, I don't know if Seattle was watching me back in my 16-year-old year in Hamilton um, with – I don't know how their scouting was with the expansion team. Um, yeah, I think at U18s, everyone kind of – got a glimpse of me um and seattle obviously i guess liked what they saw and um you know i'm very grateful for them picking me yeah um and then so i, I know that you're you're known as somebody who really competes hard at both ends of the ice um do you think that that's uh first off do you think that's a fair uh, assessment of your game um and i i noticed i mean that's obviously something that people say about maddie Beneers as well um i'm wondering how much of of that is uh you know you think is valuable to seattle that made them uh pick you here yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, always a, a competitor um, is always useful to any team. Um, and I kind of pride myself on that going into games, um, just competing, competing to the best of my ability and then doing whatever I can for the teams. So, um, you know, I think that's kind of Seattle's structure or, you know, you have to you have to play that way to enter the NHL. So, you know, I got to get, um, you know, more work done in the offseason and stuff. But, yeah, I think, um, you know, next year is going to be a big year for me in competing and, and whatnot. Thanks, Ryan. Jeff Baker. Hi, Ryan. Congratulations. Thank you. I appreciate it. Number one, I, I, the very first part of what you said, it took a while to get on this thing. Um, I wanted to ask you just, just what, what do you think are some of the things you had to work on um, since you played, since you played at the, uh, the tournament in Texas? I mean, just to get yourself back in, in, in playing shape given all the time that you missed and uh, where do you think you still have to go with that yeah for sure i think uh i think strength's a big one for me i think kind of you know being 62 and 175 i think i have you know lots of room to you know get stronger and put more muscle on and you know kind of grow as a player and i think kind of you know as that evolves um i think everything in my game kind of gets you know elevated to the next level and you know i think that makes me a better player all around so i'd say just kind of you know, after U18s, I kind of noticed that I need to, you know, get in the gym, work a bit harder, um, put some muscle on. And, you know, I think, I think, uh, you know, I'll be just fine. And, and I'm sorry if this was asked before, but, but did you play any hockey at all between your last junior game with Hamilton and, and that tournament in Texas? Like, were you playing rec leagues? Uh, what, what were you doing? Yeah, um, I, you know, played the odd league with my agents. Um, you know, we had a, we had a three on three um, group going and, you know, we'd, we'd play some five on five sometimes as well but you know nothing like an OHL season playing you know three to three to four times a week um but you know it was maybe once every here and there so definitely not um you know what I, I'd rather be in Hamilton for sure um but you know that obviously didn't happen you kind of you kind of make the most out of um the opportunity so you know I think it was beneficial for me to kind of just you know be able to play five on five I know some people weren't so you know I'm grateful for that opportunity and I think it kind of helped me um in U18s Thank you. John Barr. Hey, Ryan, congratulations. Um, well done. Um, difficult season, obviously, uh, but there was a lot of talk about your improvement through your 16 year old season, how you, you actually finished a lot stronger uh, toward the end of the season. How did you keep that momentum going? You talked about some of the three and threes and a little ice time, but were there activities that you did off the ice that, that you were trying to focus on, whether it be stronger or quickness anything like that from the off season or or the season that would have been you would have been playing with Hamilton yeah I think kind of coming off of Hamilton I was really motivated um you know I thought I think it was kind of a down year for myself not a down year but I you know I would say it wasn't up to my standards that I hold myself um so I was kind of you know really motivated after that year and I kind of you know made it an effort to improve you know kind of everything in my bag um so that was a big off season for me and then I kind of just developed everything um, and then, you know, was, was able to do pretty well at uh, U18s. Bob Condor. 
Hey, Ryan, Bob Condor from the Kraken. Congrats. Uh, look forward to meeting you in person. Um, the, the things you might have learned from your teammates and coaches at the U18s, anything that sticks out in your mind? Yeah, I mean, you know, always being around. Well, first off, thank you for the uh, congratulations. And yeah, kind of, you know, when you always go away to those tournaments and have like, um, you know, a, um, a team like that, and, you know, Shane Wright and those kind of guys around, um, you know, it's huge to kind of just learn off them, um, take take little things from their games and kind of apply to yours if it's on ice, off ice. So um, I'd say they did a really good job at, you know, making me, you know, I, I learned a couple of things from them and then kind of the coaches, just, you know, the systems they ran and, um, you know, the, the, the information they were feeding us was really helpful for me um, for, for the tournament and for coming into Hamilton and my future in hockey. So I'd say the U18s was really beneficial for my, for my learning and kind of development as a player. Nick Hotsanika. Hey, Ryan, uh, Nick Hotsanika from NHL.com. Something you said stuck out to me. You said that Seattle structure, like the Kraken haven't played a game yet. So I'm curious, like, did you get that from Zoom calls, from interviews, like what they expect and, and how do you define that? No, I just, I kind of, you know, applied it to everyone's team. Um, when I said that, I didn't talk to, you know, Seattle much before the draft, but you know, I knew they were interested, but um, no, we didn't talk about that prior. Just I kind of knew um, with every NHL team, you need the compete level to be there. So, um, you know, I think that just kind of runs throughout the league, the compete and, you know, the work ethic of everyone. So I was just kind of applying it to, you know, the league in general. But, um, you know, I know Seattle is, you know, big on their their structure and, um, you know, the, the work ethic of their players. Thank you. Darren Brown. Ryan, what can you tell us about yourself that maybe we wouldn't see on like a pre-draft analysis? What's like about your story or, or maybe um, things you enjoy off the ice? Yeah, um, you know, I think they'd say um, that's a good question. I haven't thought of that one too much, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe I like to golf. I don't know. That's probably not on not on any, um, you know, draft radar or anything. So I, I like to get out for a round when I can um, with my buddies and kind of just let loose. That was kind of a big thing for me with COVID and just kind of, you know, clearing your mind a little bit, um, going out for a round and then, um, you know, getting back to work, obviously. Yeah, that's great. Well, there's some great courses in Seattle, so I think you'll like it here. Awesome. Um, do, do you, uh, do you uh, have any expectations of what it's going to be like to, to play in Seattle, being that it's such a new franchise? Have you been to Seattle? What do you know about the, the market? Yeah, um, you know, I haven't thought of it too much. Obviously, I, I don't know too much because the, the new franchise and whatnot. But, you know, I know that they're going to be good fans. There's going to be loyal fans. Um, you know, I'm really excited. I know the the, the, the organization's going in the right way. So, um, you know, I'm really um, trusted in the organization. I'm looking forward to it. Um, but yeah, 